Welcome to Glam and Shine with Rashmi Bedi. My guest today is talented and versatile singer. She was a finalist in India's biggest musical show in the 96. He represents singer with mesmerizing voice, Purvi Kurtish. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Purvi. How are you? Hi, Rashmi. I'm good. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Firstly, I would like to thank you on behalf of all of our viewers all over US and Canada for watching our show. Thank you so much for taking our time to share your musical journey with us. Thank you. So, Purvi, as you are here on our show, and uh, I would like you to sing the song you have sung in Dil Bechara that can be a tribute to Sushant Singh. Definitely. So it's my recent uh, song release and I'm so excited about it. Unfortunately, I can't really like go out in the public and sing it for my audience. But I'm glad that through the social media and the internet that I'm able to connect to so many people right now in the U.S. and internationally all around the world through uh, social media. So he is dedicating this song, Mera Naam Kizi, to Sushant Singh Rajput who we all dearly miss and yeah it's a great loss here you go. it's it's a big loss so here you go so it's an introductory song <laughs> to kizi and here you go mera naam kizi 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 thodi si mushkil thodi easy mera naam mani mani Thank you so much. So, Purvi, how your journey started? You were very young when you started singing, right? Yes. <laughs> so, how it happened? Uh, <laughs> so, my parents are musicians. My mom's a singer and my dad's a flautist. And so, growing up, I would always listen to both of them, you know, rehearsing in their own rooms. <laughs> and, and both of them had their own projects. So, I think I would uh, say I'm grateful to have those genes. And my mom has been my idol because she's a singer and she's the one who actually pulled me into singing and music because I I was a moody kid. And um, so she started like providing me different genres. Like she, she started giving me information about different genres, although she was only, uh, she had all, only been um, restricted herself to Indian classical and Hindustani music and uh, old Hindi and Punjabi music. But then she saw her daughter sort of swifting away through mm-hmm. her mood swing. So she's like, you know what? I don't care if you follow music or not, but then I don't want you to become a beast. So listen to music as much as you can. Okay. Doesn't matter what you pursue. So I think that's where it started, where I started listening to different genres. Mm-hmm. And it was not just Hindu- Hindustani classical for me because... She also gave me the foundation of Hindustani, but then I started listening to different genres at the age of, uh, say, seven, six or seven. Uh, Stevie Wonder, Elvis Presley, Ella Fitzgerald, and at the same time, I would listen to Surinder Kaurji and uh-huh. uh, Rafi Saab, Lata Ji, and there's so, so many artists. And then I started, you know, then internet came about and me as a kid would just go bonkers. Uh, trying to listen to Korean music, Japanese music, and Turkish music. Like I can't really name you the artists because I keep forgetting the names. But then I have all those that uh, that ear for uh, different kinds of genres, and I think that still goes on with me. And after twelfth grade, oh, at fourteen, I started singing for Army Brigadiers, um, Raising Days. Uh, you know, as a fourteen-year-old, when you start singing professionally, you're like. Oh, 
I am getting my pocket money, so that's I'm sorted that way. So that, and um, then I, um, you know, after twelfth grade, I did not decide it. It wasn't at all plan uh, a plan of action to enter Indian Idol. Um, I was doing my uh, taking my twelfth grade exams is when my friend called me. She's like, "Bro, auditions are there. I think you should go and check it out." So I was like, I'm not quite sure if I'm meant for it or what will I do and all of that. She's like, just go. You never know. So I went for it, and I don't know. Just kept happening, 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 and there I was in top four. So I think it's been, I've been grateful. And from there on, at the age of eighteen, I uh, moved to Bombay, and that's that. Amazing. So how was your experience when you went for Indian Idol and? Um, what importance you feel about the reality shows platform? I would like you to share that also with our viewers. I think um, every single thing that you pursue, you need to be clear about how, how do you want to use that platform. Mm-hmm. And as very young contestants, we usually do not know where to go from here because it gives you a platform. which is extremely um helpful for any artist to get uh connections and shows and everything but if you're not sure where to go about it because that's when the journey actually begins you know of course right after the uh after the reality show so i think we all have that phase where we get confused and we're not sure where to go from here because we're not groomed right after that you know so it takes time and for you to you know get to know the industry how it works and be a part of it for me it was like being a part of it and not being a part of it at the same time because i moved to chennai to pursue opera oh. at uh, arm answers college and then after that uh, my degree in performance major is from it's it's a conservatory so uh, i interned at sir's studio in chennai as a music producer for a year and i think that's when i started singing a lot of demos for him and that's how we have jwala mukhi and mera naam kizi and i'm currently working and touring with him I, at the moment tours have been halted because of corona but then it's it's been an incredible experience incredible incredible experience so i think i want to thank indian idol for you know pushing me to bombay and i want to thank bombay for letting me know hey there's something in chennai that probably you can go pursue and i want to thank <laughs> the college awesome. like I, i have so many things to thank like awesome. every single person in my life every single situation that led me to where i am right now so true so true and uh, i totally agree with what you say that when you go for certain uh, reality show that's the start of your journey and it's up to you how of you- course carry it forward absolutely but i have seen you during the show like asha posle ji she loved your voice and you have done justice with her numbers and she was very happy so i would like you to sing two lines for our viewers sure so i'll sing um one of the songs that i sang off asha ji's and adi berman sirs which was extremely um, interesting episode for me i was scared but at the same time i was excited because it had two voice types um, in the song it's called meri ja maine kaha yeah. and it's a duet i sing i hope my neighbors don't hate me after that <laughs> all right <laughs> so here it goes meri ja maine kaha meri ja toode suda मेरी जहां मैंने कहा मेरी जहां तूने सुना दिल ने दिल से क्या कहा फिर 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 मेरी जहां मैंने कहा मेरी जहां तूने सुना मेरी जहां मैंने कहा मेरी जहां तूने सुना दिल ने दिल से क्या कहा Wow, I loved it. I've seen your performance. I just loved it, and it's beautifully done by you. Awesome. Thank you. So, Thank you uh, so much. Of course. So, Purvi, uh, like when you get the first break in Bollywood, how was your feeling, and did you expect it that your journey will be so easy? Well, to be very honest with you, Rashmi, it never anything beat anything in my life. It never really makes me too happy. or too sad i don't know what it is and 
although i'm grateful i'm extremely grateful but i think um my journey is still beginning at some point because there's a long way to go a long way to discover myself as an artist and explore more and for me every single song that i've gotten has taught me something yeah and i don't know it's it doesn't make me feel too happy or too sad i'm just just grateful and going neutral at this point of time but um uh, purvi i i do believe that to make your own position in bollywood because uh, uh you had no one and this is all what you have done is by your hard work you have achieved that's what it is you have made yes. your own position and now people know that uh purvi kotish she is such a wonderful singer so to make that identity of course there is a lot of hard work so that's i really want i want you to share that uh were there some moments you felt very low like oh i'm not able to do it or to get a song in bollywood is a dream of everyone and you got that so that i want you to share with our viewers it's a very complicated question rashmi i'll i'll be very honest with you because for me uh of course initially it was about everybody was hyped about you know getting a bollywood song and that's how you you know establish a mark in the industry but i never really pushed myself to you know extensively uh work hard in socializing or uh go meet people for me i think as an artist you need to keep working on yourself so when the moment comes and you have to uh work on a recording it just shows and your work just speaks for you i think it's really about that you should i i personally believe that if you keep working on yourself the right people will follow and the right right situations will follow so the main hard work is on yourself i think and it and it doesn't really matter if you get something that you want but you'll always get the things you're destined for i mean whatever has been written for you you'll get it so you do feel low sometimes i think lows come from high expectations from what you think the life should be but <laughs> it's i think that's growth you realize you know what probably what i meant by this is actually this and probably what i need to go for is this I'm not sure how much sense I'm making at the moment but of course I you know. do understand what you're going to say <laughs> that if your glass is half full you are happy and feeling that at least I have water with me and it's half full you know and that you are not looking at the part True. which is not there you're like okay fine because people are focus on getting full for everything that's what their focus is all about so but you are a very happy and contented True. person and you believe in almighty god that it's destined whatever you're going to get you will get it and that makes I'm not really content I would say I'm I'm not really content with what I have like I'm still searching what am I searching for I have no idea but the moment the day I uh, find it you'll see it in my work of course probably in EP the journey yeah. step by step that's what it is you don't want to just yes, make exactly. high jumps and uh, uh, that's why every single song that no I'm doing or working on right now uh, is uh, giving me some sort of a message some sort okay. of a push to the next step so i'm grateful to every single uh, project that i get because it teaches me something about myself and what all can i do how are dif- how how many different perspectives can i you know move forward with through this very project so i think it's really about that so which singer really inspired you when you were young of course we have so many nice and everybody is good but some some things some special things are there for someone which really feel like yeah this is something really i would love to i have so many singers actually that inspired me mostly the live performances of artists like barbara streisand she's a broadway artist yeah. and um then i really thrilled and so honored to have performed before asha bhonsle i think she is the the boldest and the most persistent and legendary figure that we have we are grateful to uh, you know be alive in her time 
and witnessed her strength and both as a human as a as an artist to keep going no matter what happens in life i think that's incredible and i i, I don't think i'd ever be able to express it to her i just look at her and i'm like oh your braids look amazing and she's like yeah i your braids look amazing too and that's all i can say to her <laughs> i just really don't because she's heard it so many times like what will i tell her that i'm a fan and i like i worship you but then yeah it sounds cliche up to a point and i am really honored to be working with iyad rahman sir and i this you know as a kid when i used to look at his uh, interviews in papers and i was like agar bollywood meri kismat mein likhana hai to it has to be with this guy otherwise i don't want to do it and i'm not even kidding you this, dream come this true. was <laughs> they do they do if you just picture it and leave it at that it actually comes true so i think i'm super grateful to be working with him of course ye baatein sunke to mujhe aapko aaj sab mujhe batate main main aapko bata rahi hu sharukh khan ka dialogue ki kisi cheez ko shiddat se mango to puri kainat bhi use puri karne mein jud jati hai that's what it is so you sahi baat hai what did it, it happen amazing how nice so kitna acha lagta hoga aapko and of course it's a great opportunity for you ki aapne unke sath kaam kiya that's great actually amazing and that i am i'm always grateful for that of course of course it has so purvi uh, ek acha singer banne ke liye kya kya requirements hoti hai like lot of people they want to aspire their career in the field of singing so aap unhe kya kehna chahenge i think if you want to be i mean it depends what you want to do honestly if you want to be a singer in today's time and you know get into the industry तो आई बी ब्लंट अबाउट इट दैट आपके लिए अच्छा सिंगर होना जरूरी नहीं है बिकॉज यू नीड टू बी एन एंटरटेनर टू बी इन द इंडस्ट्री बट इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू बी अ सिंगर एंड दैट्स योर पर्सनल गोल सो आई थिंक यू जस्ट नीड टू कीप ट्राइंग डिफरेंट जॉनरस कीप ट्राइंग डिफरेंट गो टू डिफरेंट टीचर्स अंडरस्टैंड योर वॉइस बिकॉज जैसे आप इट्स द सेम एज वेन यू गो टू uh different doctors you know mm-hmm. not just one you, you get different prescriptions and you try different doctors and that's what makes you understand your body and you do yoga you do so many different things to understand every single muscle in your body i think that's and your your throat is a muscle too so i think you should understand it and that's when and when you try different variations different genres that's when you get to become friends with your throat and understand it in different um roles and it's a fun thing to do i think so yeah just keep experimenting and when i say experiment please do not go to the point that's why i said go to different music teachers who can tell you what not to do because sometimes in experimenting you can end up hurting your voice and damaging your voice that's why you need to be around teachers when you experiment yeah. or tell them about your experiment but yeah it's all about it's like traveling around the world you get to know so much about yourself so i think it's you you sing different genres you'll know so much about your voice so how you feel when you are on the stage are you nervous or you are very confident because the way you perform you look very confident to be frank so i just wanted to ask you and you are a very good live performer also so i would really want you to share that also with us uh i am nervous backstage sometimes i mean although it doesn't show but nerves are there but then i think of one sentence thinking like every single person here is going to die one day why am i scared so i think that helps me calm the nerves but the moment i'm on stage i cannot think about the nerves it it's gone and my focus has completely shifted to the stage but i hate backstage because it's still root cause of nerves <laughs> but i love the stage because that's why you do not even think about nerves you don't have the time to think about nerves i think absolutely yeah. right so nice to know amazing so uh purvi abhi aapke jo covid ka daur chal raha hai abhi everybody is at home mm-hmm. so how did you spend your time So I have this series that's called Wicked Wednesday covers that I do every Wednesday and it's been going on for past 2 years. I awesome. produce my own um you can say it's reimagined uh covers. Mm-hmm. And just like that uh imagine if I would have gotten the lyrics of that song first. So how would I imagine it according to my experience and how would I compose it otherwise? 
so they are reimagined covers and then i shoot them myself and i uh, edit them myself so it's sort of and i produce them myself so it's sort of a, wow. an experiment that i do and it's still going strong so i think lockdown has uh pushed me uh, too hard into you know getting people uh, on board like i have this set of kids that i'll be uploading a cover with now the next week this week i collaborated with a lo-fi hip hop uh, artist so i think lockdowns helped me connect with different musicians uh, online and i'm producing more i am shooting more and i'm writing more wow you are multi talented amazing so much to Thank know you. about you purvi ye to bahut chota show hai mujhe lag raha hai jitni aapki qualities hain and uh, it's amazing Not really good to know and i see the positivity you have during this time it's really amazing and i really appreciate that and you have used Thank your you, time Rashmi. in a very positive manner it's very nice ंग Amazing, and I will interview on that day before the song release. <laughs> Brilliant! I'll remember this day. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are your upcoming projects now, Purvi? So, uh, my upcoming projects are ninety um, nine songs. The movie I have three songs in that album. It's with A R Rahman sir. Uh, it, it one is Voice Without Words. One is Jwala Mukhi. Oh. This Kamil version is sung by Arijit. and uh, there's one is vire kadde it's also one of the punjabi tracks in the album and i have tamil projects coming in as well um i'm not quite sure if i'm supposed to talk about the project at the moment but then the moment it's out you'll see That's on my fine. social media pages yeah, i do understand so um, and yeah yeah you tell me and um there are a couple of other projects that i'm currently working on so i'm just waiting for it to be approved and release finally we don't know whether the projects will release on disney hotstar or online um platforms but really hoping that they hit the cinemas soon you are actually beauty with grace charm and talent i should say so what about coming Thank in you, as an actress You know when you asked me who which actress would you like to sing I really had this urge to say myself but then I was like she's asking about the actresses that are currently present in the scenario so so Shweta Sen is the one that I would think about definitely but yeah given the opportunity I would love to do that Yeah you must and uh, grab that opportunity and you will do wonderful with that you will do justice with your role you're very nice very presentable very gorgeous and beautiful Thank you Rashmi It's so nice to interview. I'm really enjoying it. So, a good song for our viewers will be played from Purvi for our viewers. Definitely. So, this is also one of my 2020 releases that I sang uh, with AR Sir on uh, Mitchy Music Awards this February. And year started off at a very high note, and I was quite excited. So, this was one of the reasons this performance. So, I'll sing this song, and yeah. प्यार वालों का ये इंतहा तेरे बिन बेबसी में जल रही ज्वाला मुखे ज्वाला मुखी जानू मैं न जानू मैं तेरी कमी पहचानू मैं क्यों बहते उजाले हैं राहों में क्यों फैले अंधेरे हैं बाहों में 
तू जान ले ओ जान ले तू जान ले नशीले है दर्द जुदाइयों के ज्वाला मुखे personally. Thank you so much for being Definitely. part of the show. Thank you. Definitely. And I'd like to thank your team. Um I'm not quite sure I'm, I'm forgetting the name of the gentleman I spoke to this morning. Um I want to thank Gorov and there's one more uh, person that I'm completely forgetting Janet the name of. So, uh, yes, Janak ji. <laughs> thank you so much Gorov Tiwari and Janak and Rashmi of course for being so lovely <laughs> and having me on board. Thanks Purvi. And all so the audience fun. that are viewing right now. Yes, likewise. All right. Thank you so much, and come soon to USA visit us ASAP. Definitely, Thank so much, definitely. Thank, Thank you. you. Wonderful Rashmi and Janavendi. They are here finally. Good to meet them. Um, they are single-handedly responsible for making this evening happen. I want to thank. मैं हूँ रश्मि बेदी. हमें उम्मीद है ये शो आपको पसंद आया होगा. Latest video के लिए देखते रहिए My Dream TV USA. और पसंद आने पर like, share और subscribe करना ना भूलें. Thanks for watching My Dream TV USA.